Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you some pretty good commands that you can use with the Pacman, the package manager utility for Arch Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So a lot of people are actually struggling with using Pacman, the package manager utility for Arch Linux. So here I'm going to show you some basic commands that you can use in your daily routines. Okay? So first of all, let me connect to my uh, Arch Linux box. So I'll be using SH and the IP address of my Arch Linux box. Here we go. So now I'm connected. So the first command that I'm gonna use is actually a command that allows me to update the package database. So in order to execute pacman, so you use it with the root privileges. So I'll be using sudo command, then pacman, then minus capital S. So S actually stands for synchronized packages, okay? And you can also use the Y. So here Y means to download a fresh package, but you can use it twice. So in this case, it will update or refresh the packages even if the database is actually up to date, okay? So let's execute this command in order to update the packages database and see what we get. So here I have to provide actually the password. Here we go. So now it's synchronizing the packages. Okay. So here it will look for out to date packages or actually database and update it. Here we go. So the process has been actually finished okay so now we can upgrade the packages so in order to upgrade the packages we use the same command but instead of y y we can just lift one y and use the u so here you filter for the outdated only packages in your system okay so this is the command that allows you to upgrade the packages that are out of date so let's execute this command in order to, up to upgrade the packages here we go it's once again synchronizing the packages and it will actually upgrade the packages So here I get actually a failed retrieval file because of SSL connection, but it doesn't matter. I'm doing this video just for uh, demo purposes. But of course, you can also update and upgrade the packages at the same time. So in order to do that, so the two previous commands, you can actually summarize them in one command. So I can use capital S, U, U, and Y, Y actually, and U. So this command will actually update the database and at the same time upgrade all the packages. So if you want to get rid of two commands with just one command, you can use this one, okay? So now it's actually asking me if I want to proceed with the installation. So all the packages you see here will be actually upgraded. So it's quite a big download size. So I'm gonna say no. 
but if you want to keep your system up to date you can just say why and let the things happen okay so next let's say that you want to get some information about a specific package so for example here i'm using here i can use nano which is a very famous editor in linux world okay so let's say that i want to get information about this package called nano which is an editor i can simply execute the command sudo pacman minus capital s then i for information and after that i can give the package name so in this case it's called nano here we go so now you have a bunch of information about uh, this package so you can see from which repository it has been downloaded the name the version of course the description so this is the pico editor clone with enhancement okay you can see also the architecture the url okay the license and a lot of other stuff like the download size the installed size and so on okay and now let's move on to the most important uh, actually command is of course the command to install a package so let's say that you have for example a package and you want to install it for example let me see if i have them so actually i have it here so let's try to install a package for example lxc package which is actually the linux container so in order to do that use the sudo command pacman minus always capital s and that's all you can now give the package name that you want to install so here i want to install lxc okay which stands for linux containers so here we go so here you can see the download size and the total size so i can hit yes if i want to install this package or no if i don't want to install it so remember this uh, pretty simple command pacman minus capital s then the package name if you want to install a package so here i will just hit no because i don't want to install it it just for demo purposes okay so i mentioned before that i have vim installed which is actually a famous editor also in linux world so let's say that i want to remove it so in one in order to, re to remove a package it's simple as pacman minus capital r and the package name so in this case it's vim and that's all so here i i'm getting the message you want to remove this package so if i hit yes all the package will be removed okay so as you can see here one important thing sometimes when you install a package it will also install some dependencies so if you want to get rid of the package and all its dependencies you can use the same command but you add here an s for dependencies for example let's say that i want to remove the nano editor with all its dependencies so i can use this command okay so as always i get this message to confirm or not the package uninstall okay so here i'll just say no also a very important command if you want to search for a package if it exists or not so remember before we have uninstalled vim so let's say that we want actually to search for it before install it so to search if it exists in the repositories okay and uh, the command for that is actually pacman minus capital s and small s okay and here you give the package that you want to search for so here i'm searching for the package vim and you get actually a bunch of packages where vim is actually mentioned so you can choose whatever package 
you want to install so here as you can see I have vim tabular vim super tab and you get actually a description so all you see here actually plugins for the vim okay so all this are actually plugins so it's pretty good to take a look of a package name before install it to see if it exists or not and the packages are getting actually search from the repositories and if you want to see where are all these packages are downloaded for, for, from you can take a look at this file here located in etc directory uh, pacman dot conf okay so, so this is the file that contains actually the different repositories from where the packages are installed so here for example for the arch linux you can see the server is this one repo.archlinux.org.arch okay so you can configure that, that uh, file depending on your needs okay another thing you can also see if a package is installed or not in your system so for example let's say that if we have nano installed or not we can use this command here but minus capital Q for query and s and the package name so in this case i want to see if nano is installed on my system so i can use this command to search for installed packages and here we go i have indeed installed nano it's local on my machine and you can see here the version number and a little description of this package so it's always also good to query to see if you haven't installed already the package into your system before searching for it and looking for it okay another important command so sometimes when you remove a package some orphan packages are still there but are not more needed so you can see actually these orphan packages that are not more needed and look for them so in order to get a list of them you can use this command here minus q capital q t t and small q okay here we go so all these packages you see here go libcoro vim runtime are orphan or not more needed so you can uninstall them if you want okay and if you want to get rid of this orphan packages there is also a command pretty simple so you actually uh, make this commands as variable so i'll be using here a uh, dollar sign just to take it as a variable okay and then you execute the command pacman minus capital r to remove ns and you keep this expression here for the orphan packages so this whole commands will allows you to remove orphan packages okay so let's execute it here we go so we can confirm that or not so i will confirm with the y and all the orphan packages will be uninstalled and if you take a look at the output there are the same packages that are actually displayed here with the command to look for orphan packages so as you can see 
these are all the most important uh, command that you can use with the pacman the package manager utility for arch linux in order to execute your daily tasks in arch linux as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye